Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today, ignore this giant ugly spot on my forehead, but today I'm going to be filming a makeup look for you guys because it has been requested, so I thought I'd film it. And this is basically a Christmassy makeup look. I've gone for quite a kind of like a subtly brown eye look and then I've gone for quite a strong lip but I have like a different option if you don't want like a red or a, or a plum colour. I'd also just like to say here before I start with makeup that I am no expert or professional. Um, I just watch makeup tutorials online and I get tips from there and then I develop my own different ways of doing it. So this is not expert or anything, this is just basically how I whack my makeup on my face, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> gonna whack up this mop where's the clip I have a tie here but I want to use a clip where's a clip okay I couldn't find a clip so I had to just use a hairband I look disgusting right now and this spot is gonna have to get majorly covered up so we're gonna start with primer because primer is just always a lifesaver when it comes to makeup now I have been experimenting with primers recently and I've been really enjoying this one which is the Flawless Colour Correcting Primer by Barry M. They also have a clear one which is like an original one but this targets anti -re this targets redness, um, it's also, I'm just going to say, it's for anti redness, pore minimising, smoothing and mattifying and it literally feels like putting a moisturiser on your face. When you see it, it's bright green. And when I picked it up, I was like, um, am I sure about this? Um, it's only like a fiver as well, so it's such a good price. Um, and it just literally feels like a moisturiser. And don't worry, it doesn't make you green. I'm really sorry if my face looks red. I put a face mask on the other night and it's just brought out all of my spots. I'm just going to put some down my neck as well. Because oh, uh, I like to put bronzer down my neck so that my face and my neck are roughly the same colour. Because this is red and this is white, so. Great. Um, next. Next I'm going to be mixing together um, the Rimmel London Lasting Finish um, Foundation in 100 Ivory. And the concealer in 020 Ivory. So both ivory, basically. So, and I'm going to apply and blend it with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, just a classic one. But the reason why I'm mixing them together instead of doing them one after the other is because it's just so much quicker and easier. And the coverage of these two are amazing. Because, uh, I'm not going to lie, the concealer's consistency is very kind of thick and cakey. But under the eyes it's amazing because it really does cover up anything under your eyes um and the foundation has reasonably good coverage it's just not very long lasting right i'm gonna finish off my face and then get back to you it cakes slightly it cakes quite a lot on my forehead though because like my forehead is like a really uneven surface because of all my spots and stuff it's got like it just cakes, just does. I love how it covers everything else up, but this and this spot. <sighs> I hate my life. <laughs> okay, so this is the 17 Miracle Matte Press Powder in the shade Ivory Porcelain. I am obsessed with this, as you can see. And I'm just using my Primark powder brush to apply this. I'm going to try and make this the least longest video as possible but it's just gonna be a nightmare to edit because I just rant and talk and yap basically okay now, I, now I'm whiter than the snow I'm gonna add a bit of contour now I dropped this and broke it and it's the collection contour kit for those of you interested but I dropped it and I broke it but I'm still using it and I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush to apply that 
because it's just big and fluffy and easy to apply and blend contour i do not like adding much i only add a tiny bit and that's failed i only add a tiny bit of contour because um i don't like adding too much i just don't know why i just don't <laughs> only small amounts <sighs> on my hairline just below my hairline <sighs> always taking it down my neck by the way I've just itched some, something that was there well I just had an itch and itched it <sighs> now it's red so that's why my neck's red guys there we go I still look white in this camera. This camera's quality is just not great. <laughs> now for highlight. And I'm using this like... Oh my gosh, did you hear that? I like burped and hiccuped at the same time. But this is like a contour brush. And I'm using this Revolution Baked Highlighter in Golden Lights. Most gorgeous thing ever. Oh my gosh, look how amazing it looks. It's like a frosty champagne colour. Um, and I got this in my Revolution Makeup Advent Calendar last year. Um, it should be on some of my vlogs, actually. But I'm not sure. You'll have to go back, um, go back and have a look. Um, I am in love with this highlight. It's very shimmery and sparkly. And when it catches the light, it just looks stunning. Um, but I like to take highlight under my brows, down my nose, on my cheekbones and on my cupid's bow. But I can't take it down my nose because it's just too shimmery. So I just leave nose highlight. Now for filling in brows. Now I'm happy with the shape of my brows. I just like to shape them a bit more at the tops. I use the Rimmel London Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel. This is in the shade 002 Medium Brown. Um, and I honestly hate this it's so big and chunky the applicator brush thingy and no matter how much product you scrape off there's just so much on there so i hate using that and i've just got it all over my finger great <laughs> so i use this little angled primark brush that i got in primark coinky dinky okay this bit i'm gonna do off camera because it does take quite a while this camera always always makes me look so bad my brows aren't that strong in real life, it's just because of this camera. Now for eyeshadow, this is probably one of my favourite parts. So I've got two brushes, I've got this brush that my nan gave me and it's like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm obsessed with this, so good for blending. And then this new look brush, eyeshadow brush, and it's just like a flat one and I, it's easy to pack on eyeshadow and then I just blend it with this. Um, I'm using this giant eyeshadow palette. This is the Makeup Pro London Pro Eyeshadow Collection. So many gorgeous colours in here. I insist that you go get this because it's only like a fiver. It's insane. I don't really use this side. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I use this side. So from here up to here. All of these rows mainly. Um, so I'm going to take this colour here which looks disgusting but it's actually a really nice colour and I take that into the crease or whatever you want to call it I have to go careful on the side because I have a spot right here which is so annoying I'm trying to make them both even is so annoying and then again I'm just going to blend that out into the crease and also across the rest of the eye these eyeshadows are honestly so easy to blend. So now that that is all blended, um, it's a very strong look. So if you're feeling bold, go for it. Oh, the sun's starting to come out. I didn't even notice that. I just have my light up here. Um, but yeah, I love this eye look. It's so gorgeous. And it's not very Christmassy. It's quite autumnal, but I just love it so much. Okay, so now I'm using the Maybelline New York Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to take it up under here. I'm not going to do it on camera because I normally end up poking myself in the eye, so I'll get back to you. Okay, that's one eye. I just like it to like make my eyelashes look thicker and longer. Okay, so we had a slight issue with the eyeliner there. Somehow I got hair in my eye, so that didn't work very well. But now, moving on to mascara. Now, I like to use two mascaras. One of them 
of which is waterproof to make sure it stays on um, and the other one is not waterproof but it's for lengthening however the first mascara doesn't really come off but I just like it as just to make sure so first mascara is the Benefit Their Real Mascara I am in love with this mascara it's so incredible and I basically just blink into that I will get back to you <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, my eyelashes haven't been looking very long recently. They've actually been looking quite short and stumpy. And I don't like that because <laughs> I like long, voluminous eyelashes. I basically blink into a mascara for the next 10 minutes. I feel like this eye always goes better than that eye. But oh well, it's my preference. And then I use the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara because this is so thick. I love the brush though. I literally just lightly apply that to my lashes. Just to give something so that it doesn't come into my eyes throughout the day. And now for the final thing, which is lips. And I have two options. The first option is this berry colour. So can we just talk about how cute this packaging is? I got this for Christmas last year, I think it is. Oh, I've dropped the brush. All good, I've got the brush. Um, just using this little brush. And literally, this is so gorgeous. Let me just talk about how amazing these smell as well. I feel like YouTubers have talked about smell -a vision or whatever they said it was so many times that YouTube just need to make it a thing now. Don't you agree? Because if you could smell... This lip stuff it would make you like want to cry it smells so good so that is the makeup look for like Christmassy look excuse the messy hair but that is the makeup look so it's like a dark autumnal eye which I really love um and like a kind of darkish lip um, and here's the other option I have. Um, I don't know what brand it's by. I think it's by Collection. The Collection Lasting Colour in the shade 4 Coffee Break. Now this is a shimmery dark brown colour. I'm not going to put it on because... Uh, I'll tell you what, I will put it on. Let me take this one off quick. Okay, so I've very messily put it on. But I think I prefer this one to the other colour with this eye look specifically. I'm only literally going to go and spray like a half a tonne of dry shampoo in my hair right now. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up because um, I would love it if you would. And I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. This is basically what I've been wearing recently and will carry on wearing because I just love this eye look so much. But anyway, I'm going to go now and get on with my day because it's like half past nine in the morning. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye! <laughs>